Hello and welcome to this quick video short where they asked me to choose um, the favourite Pico accessories and that's like trying to choose your favourite son or daughter, isn't it? Or your favourite song. I mean, how do you do that? Either way, the way I looked at approaching this was if I got to travel somewhere and I could take five accessories with me, what would they be? Well, of course, it's got to be a Picoscope, hasn't it? And it would have to be BNC Plus as well. It hasn't got to be, but just the advantages of BNC Plus. Next would be the Times 10 test lead. So this is what we call the scope probe, attenuated. So we don't have to worry about any flyback voltages, low energy, things like spikes from injectors, ignition, that kind of thing. After that, it has to be a current clamp. Um, we've got a number to choose from, but it would be this one, the 2000 amp current clamp, BNC plus. So it's auto recognition, auto zero and it covers you for a wide range. So from five amp up to five, sorry, 2000 amp, um, that's, that's really a huge coverage, but it'll even go even, it'll go much, much lower. So we've got um, a section on the forum that talks about how low this will go. So we'll put the link in this and you can have a look at that. Um, WPS, possibly my favorite accessory of all time three transducers in one. So whether you're looking at exhaust gas pulsation, fuel pressure, oil pressure, or in-cylinder analysis, you've got to have this on board. Um, next up, an accelerometer. Now, not, not typically for MBH, just because I may want a signal or an event capturing. If I don't know what kind of trigger I'm after, I might put that sort of on an injector pipe. Maybe I'll put it toward the end of the engine on the cylinder head. So at least if there's a combustion event there, might be able to use that as a sink or a trigger. Um, the other day I used that for just operating the shift lever. So I wanted to know when the vehicle went into reverse. I could have perhaps tried the reverse light wire, something like this, or a signal. Why not just put the accelerometer on the shift lever? When I move it to reverse, I get that event. There is my trigger, there is my event within the capture. And I get finally, BNC plus differential probe. So the way the world is going, there's high voltage on board. There's high voltage everywhere now, not just EV, think of hybrid as well. Having this, um, having high impedance as well. So if we're gonna measure like a sensitive circuit, we haven't got to worry, we've got this, this covers us. It's CAT3 rated as well. So when our vehicles are connected to the grid, to the mains, we covered there as well. So there's the top five. I'm, I'm sure there are others. Uh, I'm sure you agree or disagree. They would be mine.